Have you ever watched uh, Thai street food videos? I'm sort of addicted to the things. I was only in Thailand once and just for a few weeks in uh, when was it 2001? A long time ago now. And I didn't actually have quail eggs. This pan that I'm using is Scandinavian in origin, I guess. Abelskiv, Abelskiver, however you want to pronounce it. A type of uh, pancake, anyway, is traditionally cooked in them I, with a filling. You put the, the pancake batter in and a little bit of filling, and when it's halfway cooked, you flip it over and the filling is sort of sealed in the middle. When I was in the Netherlands last spring, somewhere at a market, in uh, Amsterdam I saw an enormous one I suppose it had a hundred different uh, compartments and they were making little pancakes in them there as well um, they were uh, serving them on a skewer or in a little basket whichever way you wanted with like icing sugar dusted on or different kinds of coverings but anyway uh, the, the name of this in in Thai will magically appear on the screen here and this is a popular Thai street food except I don't have the the, uh, the sauce that they use and probably won't be as successful at making them I've got the heat going quite low that oil that I just put in was grapeseed oil, which is something new to me. I haven't used it very much, but it has a much higher smoking point, so it doesn't uh, smoke or burn as, as easily as I traditionally use. Traditionally, a silly word to say. I, I normally use um, olive oil in almost everything, but olive oil a lower smoking point. It's starting to change a bit. This gizmo I bought some time ago, I think even before I had quail. If you're taking the top off, quail eggs are quite hard to uh, crack. They have a membrane inside. And I've seen different people comment online and I agree. If, if you are a cigar smoker or know somebody that is a cigar smoker, I think what this thing actually is, is the tool for cutting the end off of a cigar before you light it. Works well on the eggs anyway. If you watch some of the videos online of these eggs being prepared at street markets in Thailand, they don't use one of these very adept at, at cracking them. They'll crack it on the edge of the pan and then I, they use a, I don't know, their fingernail or just their thumbnail or something and and uh, manage to crack it open. But I haven't tried. Maybe that would work for me too. But I, I bought the gizmo so I guess I'll use the gizmo. These are for lunch. I'm strange when it comes to breakfast I guess. I can't face eggs in the morning. I like eggs, I have hens, I have quail, I eat their eggs, but normally it's for lunch. I'll bring you back. I think I will turn these. I like my eggs turned over. Um, in Thailand, they're almost always served sunny side up. Or at least that's what I see in the, the videos that I've watched. I don't know if I've ever seen them season them either while they're cooking. They have a nice sauce, I can't think of the name of it, that they use, but I don't have that. I have a Vietnamese hot pepper sauce that I plan to use, just a little bit to, to have with the eggs. I can turn that even a little lower, I guess. I put in there first. I'll try to turn them and see how that works or if it works. Oh, so, uh, doesn't quite fit on a gas burner. Quail eggs, the tiniest little things. The 
cooking very quickly actually. I think maybe I understand why they do them sunny side up. Well, meet you at the table when we try our quail eggs. Well, I don't know if seven quail eggs equals one or two regular size hen's eggs or not. They're very small. This stuff is hot. You can see that or not on the label. It's just called a chili garlic sauce and then several other words in Vietnamese, <laughs> which I can't pronounce. But it is very, very hot. It's a lot of, a lot of garlic with some, I mean, a lot of chili with some garlic added. But uh, you want a little instant heat? Sort of turns this almost into the Mexican dish of huevos rancheros, the hot, spicy egg dish from Mexico. Hmm. Quail eggs are very good. That sauce really adds something to them too. You don't need to watch me eat my lunch, I guess, but I just thought I'd show you that neat little pan. And I will put the Thai name for it, even though the one that I'm using is Scandinavian. Made for, to use for a certain kind of pancake rather than eggs. But and I'll also put the Vietnamese name for this sauce up there. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to finish my lunch.